Hello there! Well, today we'll be exploring six different techniques used to create spin paintings using Montmartre acrylic paints. But before we get into it, if you love art, you'll have to check out the other lessons at our webpage at www.montmartre.net. We also have links to our Facebook and Instagram pages, as well as to our art club, The Creative Connection. So let's get spinning! If you want to try spin painting, it is a necessity to create an enclosed area due to the amount of paint that flicks off the canvas. I have created a neat little booth from some cardboard packaging and a 120 by 90 centimetre canvas. I cut the cardboard into three equal proportions, turn the canvas upside down and use gaffer tape to hold it all together. I apply the tape into the corners and position a piece centrally onto the back of the canvas. For the spinner, I'm using a plastic banding turntable, but you could use a Lazy Susan shown here also. The canvas needs to be attached to the spinner, so I use that gaff tape again. Incidentally, I got seven spins done with the same four pieces of tape. So now that we've got our area and canvas set up, let's mix up some paint. I'm using Montmartre satin acrylic, the thicker dimension acrylic and some glitter paints also. I won't go into the colours that I use here, but if you would like to know exactly the colours used, we have a PDF lesson plan that you can download from our website. The most important thing is to mix them to the viscosity of pouring cream. And I'm just using cold water to do this. Okay, well all of our paint is mixed to the correct viscosity. Now we get to do the fun part and put it on the canvas. The only other thing you're going to need is a large palette knife. spins will be on 50 centimeter round Montmartre canvases. The paint is applied differently as all the colors are poured into a cup and then poured onto the spinning canvas. Pour the paint directly into the cups in little amounts in a particular order and then repeat that order. 
pour the paint fairly carefully so the colours mix as little as possible. The surface tension of the paint keeps the paint from blending. I've used some glitter paint here also. Gently pour the paint into the centre and spin the canvas slowly. is a standard spiral application, but a palette knife is used to manipulate the paint once it's been poured.
See you next time.